Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Shum Program Wizards. We'll continue with the series, data passing series that we had started earlier on. Previously, we saw how to pass collections from one activity to another, and of course, also in another tutorial, we also looked at how to pass simple data types from an activity actually to a fragment. Okay. Now for today, we're going to do the reverse. We're going to see how to pass data simple data types primitive data types from a fragment to activity right so for instance you can see this is our main activity right here we have two text boxes name and here we're going to open a fragment then enter data in our fragment and then pass them back of course to our main activity right here this is what i'm talking about i click my fab button right here it's going to you can see showing right here a fragment okay these are fragment right here we've placed it in a frame layout now you can see we can enter what we want the data we want let's say for instance the name of the spacecrafts we can give it let's say something like this then of course uh the year we can come right here choose here let's say 2021 20, if we do so we click send it sends it of course to our main activity right here you can see enterprise 2021 then it shows us a toast message show telling us received okay so this is it guys this is it you can see right here in our main activity we've received data from a fragment let's say we want to send more we come right here then of course we type our data let's say that our data the same round we have uh this one then of course we choose the year 2019 we click send is going to send it right here of course to our main activity okay we're doing this one we were receiving this data and unpacking it inside our own resume method life cycle method for of course our activity okay so when our activity is retrieved is resumed we're retrieving data from our fragment this is it guys this is what we're going to look at so join me we get started so guys we already have the tutorial also in the text format right here in our site android data passing fragment to activity via intent so if you come right here let's come and see the guide before we move over to android studio okay so of course if you want to download the project and uh, follow it with me you can just come right here click the di direct download it's actually going to download it directly okay that's a direct link you can see this is of course what we're going to have in our project this is our project structure first of course we have our build.gradle the app level we have our two classes main activity class as well as our my fragment class then we have two layouts of course activity main layout and content main these are for main activity while fragment my fragment layout of course is for our my fragment class okay this is what these are the questions we're going to attempt to answer how to pass data from fragment to activity how to pass data of course using intense right here and then of course our fragment shall be performing a fragment transaction uh, to show of course our fragment in our main activity we're going to override our own resume in fact inside this life cycle method on resume right here this is all going to be performing receiving our data from our of course fragment all right we're using android studio windows 8.1 of course language is java so these are build or cradle if you want to browse through the source code and of course our text tutorial you can just have it right here okay for now we're going to uh, the source code everything is right here we're going to move over to android studio i hope you've downloaded it above okay and then you come right here this is how you're going to import it into of course android studio that's how we're going to edit it so guys i just go ahead of course once you've downloaded the project come right here then of course import the project all right import the project once you have it let's come right here explore project is actually a very simple project all right we simply come first of course to a build or cradle the app level in fact we have no external dependency of course we will just have right here our card view uh right here as well as of course our support v4 because we're going to be using of course our support a uh, fragment okay then of course our design support library also as well as our app compact 
this is what well, those are all the dependencies we are having right here we move directly to our layouts now activity main this is a simple layout right here we chose the basic activity as our template layout while creating the project so right here we have our activity main we we'll simply make sure that we include the content main now content main dot xml this is right here a simple layout that's going to be containing two text views which shall replace which have of course show the data that we're going to be receiving of course from our fragment okay also going to have our frame layout no the frame layout this is going to act as our container is actually the layout that we're going to be replacing with our fragment is going to hold of course our fragment we shall perform fra fragment transaction replace this particular layout of course with our fragment okay then we have our fragment layout right here fragment my.xml you see we have our card view right here the card view of course we have edit texts right here you can see name edit text we also have a spinner of course our launch here spinner then we have button for sending does it does it for our fragment those are layouts let's come the classes that we're going to have we have two classes main activity as well as our my fragment okay if you want to add a fragment to right here you simply come click uh, where is it come choose blank fragment all right so blank fragment right there no if you come to my fragment you can see right here we're making sure that the fragment actually extends fragment right here these are the views we're going to have edit text spinner as well as our button no the fragment make sure you provide an empty constructor right here okay so inside our own create view when our view for our fragment is created the first thing we're going to inflate our fragment my layout then assign it to a root view it is this root view that we're going to be returning now we go ahead initialize our widgets right here then we call filiers filiers this is a simple method right here this is simply going to populate our spinner no take note array adapter right here then adapter dot add this particular years then launch here spinner dot set adapter we set our adapter of course to our spinner well we call our filiers when our send button is clicked what are you going to do of course we're going to call the send data method so send data method this is a simple method that's going to send our data back to our main activity to send data is simple we simply instantiate our intent right here passing in of course the context which of course we get from our main activity get activity dot get base context then we pass of course main activity dot class now we're going to pack the data that we're going to send to our main activity first we're just having this variable sender right here that's going to of course identify the sender of the data that we shall be of course sending we have it as our my fragment okay the reason why we're doing that one is because we shall be receiving this data in our own resume method and then the own resume method shall be called of course in our life cycle of our application it gets called several times not just when we of course uh, quit our fragment so we shall just want to try to receive data only when of course uh, the own resume is called because we've actually acquitted uh, uh, the fragment okay we quit the fragment otherwise we pass in the data name key and the key we get them from our edit text name frag txt dot get text dot to string is going to give us the name then of course the year we get it from our spinner so integer dot value of launch your spinner dot get selected item dot to string whatever here the user is going to select we cast it of course to our integer then of course i uh, set it right here of course in our i in our intent object we reset the spinner as well as the name txt then we start our activity okay get activity to start activity i passing in the intent of course we call the send method send data right here when the send button is clicked if we come to our main activity is this is all going to receive our data first we're just going to have two text views right here 
is going to receive our data we initialize the views right here okay so when our going to when our floating action button is clicked first we're going to open fragment so let's come right here opening a fragment is simple we're simply going to perform a fragment transaction so my fragment my fragment equal to new my fragment then get support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace we pass in the id for the container which is our frame layout we're going to be replacing with our my fragment then of course to make sure that we commit this particular transaction that's it for open fragment method what about receive data well this is our method for receiving data first we get of course the intent associated with this activity intent i equal to get intent then string name we extract the name i dot get extra name key right here we pass in the key i dot get int extra here key okay then of course uh, we pass in right here our initial value zero name txt dot set text name here txt dot set text string dot value of year we show the year and name in our text views all right so when our own resume method right here is called of course what we're going to do first we're going to determine the sender of that particular of course uh data so come right here sender sender equal to this dot get intent dot get extras dot get string then of course we simply pass in the sender key now if we pass in the sender key right here this is going to give us the sender of right here of course when the on resume method rate is called so if sender is not equal to null then we know that okay it's um my fragment okay we've actually quit our uh, my fragment my fragment has actually sent data right here so sender this dot receive data we receive our data then we simply show a text message other is of course if it's null for example when our own resume is called or because of another reason apart from quitting our fragment we're not going to try to retrieve data okay otherwise would have of course uh, received an error so we're just going to have it that way then of course when on click is called we simply call open fragment is that simple guys that's what we're going to be having right there of course next we simply click run to run our project let's run our project and see our result so guys right here this is our project if we run it we click off our button it destroys our fragment let's say we want to enter data we can come right here then enter the name of the spacecraft let's say james webb then we come we choose the year okay the launch year we say maybe 2018 we click send okay if we click send it's going to send it right here you can see we are receiving our data right here this is what we've looked at the source code we are touching below make sure you guys subscribe make sure you like this video share it please help us by sharing it and also make sure you check our website okay Others take care. I'll catch you in the next class.